Okay, so Junior Roberts here. In this video, we're going to be demonstrating the refraction experiment. Right, and as you can see here, I have some apparatus that I'll be using to uh, demonstrate the refraction experiment and also to verify Snell's law. So we're going to get started right now. So as you can see, I have um, a ruler right here. I have four precision pins, a protractor, a glass block, a pencil, and I have a sheet of paper which I have uh, drawn the outline of the glass block on and I've also indicated um, some angles, right? These are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60 and they're all measured with respect to this broken line which is our normal. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is to place two pins on the 10 degree line ensuring that they are perfectly upright and I'm also going to place the glass block inside the outline. Now what I'm going to do now is viewing from this angle, I'm going to look directly through the glass block. So I'm going to look directly through the glass block. So we're going to try to ignore on the top right here and just look directly through the glass block. And we're going to move our eye. So we're going to be looking through one eye and we're going to move our eye until we see that the pins are lining up. So notice when it was like this, I was seeing two pins through the glass block. So I'm going to move my eye until I see just one pin. Now once I've identified that point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my other two pins. While looking through the glass block, I'm going to place a pin here so that when I place this pin down, right, it actually blocks the pin that I was seeing through the glass block. It's actually blocking both pins looking through the glass block. So once I've done that now, I'm going to take my second with my fourth pin actually and I'm going to put it in the path of this pin so that it blocks this pin right here and also the two that I was seeing previously while looking through the glass block so I'm going to place it like about here All right and this is what we will observe All right so this is how it will look from the top down All right um, I had to replace the first two pins because I was really realizing that the first one was, uh, was actually inside the outline of the glass block. All right. So once I've done that now, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a straight line from connecting these two points to the outline of the glass block. Okay. So this is now this is it now. So I've removed the glass block and I've removed the two pins and I've drawn a straight line to the glass block and I've placed in a little uh, normal right here. I've also Go ahead and actually extend this normal in so that I'm able to measure the angle um, that will be inside the glass block. So what I'm going to do now is I'm, I'm going to draw a straight line connecting from this point all the way to here. So now when I place my protractor, right, so that I'm able to measure the angle that is formed inside the glass block, I'm seeing that I'm getting about 7 degrees, right, I'm getting about 7 degrees right there for the angle that was 10 degrees. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to repeat for the other set and complete the diagram. Okay, so I'm going to go again and view through the glass block. So I've just simply placed this, so I've just simply placed this eraser on top to prevent me from looking over the glass block. Right, so I've simply placed this eraser here to prevent me from looking over the glass block because I want to be looking through the glass block. So I'm going to continue moving until I see just notice. I'm seeing both pins through the glass block. So I'm going to move until I'm only seeing just one pin. Once I've done that, I'm going to take a pin and I'm going to place it just so that it blocks the light coming from that pin while looking through the glass block. So it's about here. So I'm going to place it like that right ensure that it is perfectly upright then I'm going to take my second pin and do the same thing so it's about like this one right just ensure that it is perfect right just like that right so I'm going to move on to the next one now. Okay, so I'm now at 30 degrees. And again, I'm going to be looking through the glass block. Right? And again, I'm seeing 
two pins looking through the glass box. I'm gonna move my eye until I'm just seeing one pin, which is about like that. So once I've done that now, again, just like before, we're gonna take our two pins and we're gonna place them so that they block the path of light coming from the pins through the glass block. We want to ensure that we're looking directly through the glass block and that is why I placed this eraser on top of the glass block. So I'm gonna go about right there. Right, and as you can see, once I place this pin down, I'm no longer seeing the pins through the glass block. Right? And then I'll place my next pin about right here. Right, so I have this pin in the front blocking the one at the back and also the two that was uh, the light was coming from through the glass block. And again, what we want to ensure that you know we're focusing on the base of the pin because that um, will help us to improve accuracy because as you notice that the pin might be a little bent. So we want to look at the base of the pin to guide us. So this is at 30 degrees, so we're going to drop the line on and we're going to move on to 40 degrees. Okay, so we're at 40 degrees now. So we're going to be continuing the same set of steps. So again, we looked through the glass block and we see that we're seeing two pins. So we're going to move our eye until we're seeing just one pin. So that's about it. it. And then we we'll take our two pins again and we're going to try to block the light coming through the glass block from both pins. Right? Like that. So we see that this pin now is blocking the two pins through the glass box again. We go one more. So about right there. Right? And that would be it. So again, we're going to draw up our line and we're going to move on to 50 degree. Okay, so now we're at 50 degree. And again, we're going to, going to be doing the same thing. So again, we see two pins through the glass block. So we're going to move until we just see one pin. So which is about right here. So now, we're going to place a pin right in the path of light coming from the pins through the glass block, like, so we see that it's going to be about right here, and then take our second pin, or the fourth pin rather, and we're going to go like this, right? So this is at 50 degrees, so we're going to move to 60 degrees next. Okay, so we're now at the 60 degree. So again, I'm going to position my eye so that I'm seeing just one pin. This one is a little bit difficult because we can see that it's actually starting to blur out, right, because of how it is positioned. Let me see if I can. All right, so, so we see that we're seeing two pins there. All right, let me go here. So we see that we're seeing two pins. So move our eye until we see just one pin, right? Like about that, right? And then take our two pins, other two pins, one will go here, right? So that it blocks the light coming from both pins. And our second one, again, this is a fourth pin because we have two already. And this one will go right here, just like that. All right, so again, we're just going to draw the line on and we're going to talk about the final thing. So this is how um, it will look. So what we're going to do now is we're going to draw straight lines from each of these lines right here to this point right here. So I'm gonna do that right now, and then once we have done that, we're gonna measure the value of each angle formed respectively. So the first thing we're going to do is to just confirm the values of our angles here. So we see we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. All right, what we're gonna do next is, is to just measure the angle formed here. So now using our protractor, we're able to measure the angles 
form, right? So we have our angles of incidence being 10 all the way up to 60, right? And when the light from the pin came inside the glass spot, they were refracted, and we see that our angles of refraction are, here we have 7 degree, 12 degree, 19 degree, 25, 31, and 35 degree. So we can just record these values in a table, and then we can um, do some further analysis. One other thing to take note of, um, if we take each individual angle and we measure them respectively with respect to the normal that was drawn for each line, we're going to see that these angles will be equal to the angle of incidence, right? So that's something that we want to be aware of. So the angle of incidence is always equal to the emerging angle once the ray would have entered the glass block, got refracted, and then emerges from the glass block. So we're going to tabulate all our results and then we're going to discuss and also do further analysis.